Hey, what's good, guys? So this is the first video of just a series that will come from many years to I don't know how long, but uh, I started doing this with a music artist, India to Pray, that I manage, and I just thought it was such an incredible idea. I saw Billie Eilish do it, and I implemented it with India, and I was like, shoot, why not myself, right? So this is basically um, a yearly interview where it's the same exact questions, you know, some, you know, I might add some from time to time or something like that. And then some might be irrelevant over time, but, and you're going to see my growth and my progress throughout the years. I think it's brilliant because you really get a chance to just see somebody, how they grow, you know? So I'm going to start it off. Uh, you know, my eyes are going to be shifting to the computer here because, um, it's got the questions that I'll be going off of. So what's my name? My real name is Nathan. Peterman. I go by Nate Peterman. You know, sometimes people call me Nate the Great. Uh, today's date is June 8th, 2022. Okay. Tomorrow is 6-9. So I got to go there. Okay. So where do I live now? Currently, I live in Los Angeles, California. How many Instagram followers do I have? I think I got around 58,000 followers right now. Um, how many Google results are there for Nathan Peterman? So there's a football quarterback that has the same exact name as I do. So there's a lot of results. I got about 702,000 Google results for Nathan Peterman. Um, my most liked photo on Instagram would have to be the one with Victoria Justice. I believe that has, I think, 5,000 some likes if i'm not mistaken uh, yeah that one did really well favorite food right now steak no doubt i'm a big steak eater who's a famous person in your phone uh i don't know i don't really look at people as being famous but yeah yeah i don't really have like a list celebrities or anybody yet but yeah i'm still getting there i guess you can say uh biggest thing to happen in your career man uh just the fact that i don't have to work for somebody the fact that i own my own business and i'm able to innovate and, and build things whenever i want you know like i'd say that's probably the biggest thing that's ever happened um ultimately within my career thus far um I could go one on one, but just the fact that I work for myself and um, can just call those shots, you know, it's not always most comfortable either. It might sound a little bit casual, but it's not. Um, what's most important to me right now? Growth, definitely growth and 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 financial stability. Definitely figuring out other sources of income, but also just growing as a human and as a person. That's very, very important to me at this current moment in time. Like literally right before I recorded this video, I was jotted down in my notes section on my iPhone exactly what skill sets I want to learn. So I don't know how to swim right now. So, so swimming, learning another language, learning an instrument. Um, I mean, there's riding a horse, right? I mean, there's so many things that I want to learn. I don't know how to play chess, right? I don't know how to play poker. Um, do you think you're successful? I do to an extent. Um, in other people's eyes, like with where I'm from, they look at me as being successful because I live in a big city like Los Angeles. I have my own apartment. I have like a Tesla. Like, I think success is dependent upon of course, the individual and, and what they really think. For me, success is, um, it's deeper than that. It's making sure that my, my family, not necessarily that they don't have to work, but if they're working, it's it's for me. Or like I've, I've kind of given them different ways on, on how to make money, right? Success definitely for myself consists of being more in the spotlight. And, and just like being out more and, and people recognizing you. I've always looked at success that way. Now, that's not to say that success has to be that way. I mean, success can be just also when you're financially free. That's also something that I define as being successful. But I think as long as you're happy and, and, and you love what you're doing, 
that right there is success. And, and, and to be quite transparent, like I always am, I, I, I'll tell you right now, like I, I don't really know like what my path is in life. I, I really don't. But I'm a firm believer of whenever you go through your life and, and, and you're, you're still making progress and focusing on things like business or whatever it is that you do. Um, I'm a firm believer that God, you know, shows you the way even whenever you don't really realize it. So, so yeah, that's just my transparent answer on if I think I'm successful. How would you define being more successful next year? Um, 10xing my income, having way more relationships, and just expanding the circle. And when I say expanding it, I mean expanding it with more high network than and high level individuals. And also establishing more just friends and yeah, just, just getting out there more. Just like I said, learning those skill sets. That's what I define as success. How often do you get recognized in public? Not often. I'm not there yet. What's the biggest event in the news right now? My goodness, I don't even watch the news. Uh, man, the biggest event in the news right now. Yeah, I mean, that, yeah, that Johnny Depp thing, Amber Heard, that was pretty big. I mean, everybody talked about that as if it was their court case, you know? So yeah, I'd say that. And then of course, like the NBA finals are going on right now. It is the Warriors and Celtics right now. What trend are you over right now? Trend, trend, I'm really looking at trends. Uh, yeah, I mean, anything that's like COVID related or yeah, vaccines, all that stuff. It's yeah, I'm over that. I'm tired of hearing about that. Uh, favorite movie right now? Favorite movie, man. I'm, I'm big into movies. Uh, I tell you, a movie I watched recently that really hit me was It's a Wonderful Life. That's a 1940-something movie. It's a Wonderful Life. That's a good one. I'm trying to think of another one that really stuck out to me. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like, yeah, movies just aren't as good compared to whenever they were years ago. But one of my favorite movies of all time, of course, The Godfather. But right now, I would check out It's a Wonderful Life. Good one. Favorite book right now? Uh, well, right now, I'm actually reading this one. It's called Autobiography of a Yogi. Really great book. But uh, I'd say recently, I finished Michael Jordan's biography. That was really great just because it... Um, it goes through their lives and it shows just, for example, Michael Jordan, how much of a competitor that guy really was like just in all aspects of his life. So that was definitely, I'd say one of my favorite books at this current moment. It was the Michael Jordan one. What's the biggest rumor about you? Uh, I don't think I have any rumors, which is, I mean, that's good. But again, the bigger you get in this world, the more rumors that will happen, but Nah, I don't have any rumors, at least not that I know of. Do I have a girlfriend? I do not. I'm at a point in my life right now where it's like, I, yeah, I'm open to that as long as it aligns, but I got to get some things in order on my end first for me to be at that level to where I'm able to, to really just be ready for that. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a firm believer in not saying no. I mean, if, if God or the universe brings somebody that you're truly in alignment with, it's like, hey, man, why not? You got you to gotta test the waters. It's always great to test things within a relationship sense. But at this current moment, I do not. Would you be happy with one? I would. I really would. For me personally, having a female um, influence when it comes to, you know, a girlfriend, um, you know, call her a queen or right. That right there, that means a lot to me for sure. Uh, I, I definitely having a significant other in the relationships I've been in throughout the past, like two to three years, they weren't necessarily long term, but that was whenever I felt like a lot of love. I'm, I'm a cancer astrology. So it's like, that, that means a lot to me for sure. Um, lowest point of your year? Well, it's June right now. I'd say 
Yeah, probably just, yeah, starting the year, that was, that was tough because I had COVID and I just felt as if, I mean, even right now too, even right now, I mean, like I said, it's all transparency here. Um, you know, like there's some times where I'm at a point and I think to myself, like, oh, man, what, man, God, where, where are you taking me? Like, it, you know, like w w where, you know, fi financials are, are always kind of up and down and, um, yeah, it's a, you know, you always want to have a positive mentality, but at the same time, it's also just being true and living up to being, you know, I, I don't hide things. Like I'm, I'm upfront about things and, um, yeah. So lowest point of the year, I'd definitely say is, yeah, I mean, I've, I have low points. Um, and it's, 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 it's uncomfortable to think about it. You can tell just how I'm talking about it right now, but it's like, yeah, there's always, I feel low points, but yeah, right now, definitely going through a little bit of a low point, um, direction wise in my life. So, um, definitely look forward to, to getting through it though, for sure. What's your favorite movie? Uh, like I said earlier, the Godfather, and then, of course, all the Rocky movies, the Dark Knight movies. Um, those are my favorite ones. What's your favorite color right now? Yeah, right now I'm I'm, I'm big into yellow. <laughs> I didn't plan it, but yeah, yellow. I've been I've been really feeling the the color yellow of late. My favorite color of all time is red, though. Do you feel pressure? Oh, absolutely. I always feel pressure. Um, that's the thing. When you work with clients, there's always some kind of like pressure in, in order to just make sure that they're taken care of and, and people have expectations for yourself. But yeah, I feel financial pressure a lot of times um, with the kind of business that I'm in right now. And then I feel pressure just, in, like I said, with where I want to go in my life, the direction and, and things. So yeah, I definitely feel a lot of pressure. Absolutely. Um, is there anything that annoys you that didn't a year ago? Is there anything that annoys me that didn't a year ago? Um, off the top of my head, I can't think of anything, but no, nah. no, nah, I, I can't think of anything. I mean, yeah. What advice would you give yourself a year ago? What advice would I give myself a year ago? So a year ago, I was still living in Houston. Um, yeah, I'd say, Nate, continue doing what you love to do. So for example, the podcast, keep doing the podcast, keep doing things that put you in your zone to where you just, it lights your heart on fire. And, and for reference, I haven't done the podcast in over like a year. So, so yeah, definitely do things that, that make you happy. Challenge yourself. Always learn new skills. That's the key. Biggest person, uh, that's, never mind. That's for, uh, I'm reading these questions and some of them are for like India. Um, favorite music artist at the moment, I would say, yeah, yeah, I tell you, I've, I've been uh, I've been really feeling Jack Harlow of late, just like these past couple of days. Jack Harlow for sure, dude's definitely uh, yeah, he's he's blowing up. But I've also always been into Drake, <clears throat> Drake obviously wearing his uh, if you can see that OVO, and then yeah, I was also into Ed Sheeran a couple months ago. How do you feel about, how do you feel about the industry? Um, well, so I guess I'll just imply this. So how do you feel about the industry you're in? So the industry that I'm in consists of like a lot of just different marketing companies and we're, we're transitioning more so into consulting. I feel like there's just a lot of people that they talk the talk, but they don't really execute, right? So for example, whenever I have phone conversations with potential clients, you know, sometimes you feel as if you got to get them over a hurdle because they've been burned before. So um, I feel that, and this goes with any industry, 
<clears throat> I feel there's a lot of snakes out there that are just in it for short-term money instead of long-term results. But what people don't understand, in order to get long-term results, you got to wait. You got to be a bit patient for that. So that's that's what I would say to that. <clears throat> um, who is your best friend? Uh, my best friend, I got two best friends, but uh, I don't like putting them in order. So definitely Daniel Kiani. He's for sure my best friend. He's also my business partner as well. And then my, my childhood best friend, um, Harris Mimisevich. And, and I, you know, throw another one out there, Devin Thompson. They were my, my, my best friends, but I don't really interact with them as much. I mean, Daniel, I interact with him every day. So, so yeah, those three. App you use the most, definitely Instagram. Um, what's the biggest thing you're struggling with? The biggest thing I'm struggling with right now is just, like I said, finding what my purpose is, what my direction is. And it, yeah, I probably sound so crazy hearing me say this if you're watching this, but yeah, finding my direction. And then most importantly, just getting out, like going into social settings. Um, that's something that I, I, I do struggle with, you know, and, and that's something that the podcast has allowed me to get better at. Um, I don't know. I always looked at myself as like, I'm the type of individual, if I'm going to go to something, there's got to be a reason for it. But at the same time, I also realized that's a part of me that has to get like past myself. Um, still you want to go to, if you're going to go to an event or like a social gathering, you want to know the purpose of it. But I guess I've always kind of been very business oriented that way. So yeah, yeah, I definitely want to get better at just going out to places and because I, I, all the work I do is from, you know, home. Like that's everything I've typically done. But I realize how effective I am whenever I go out. So definitely want to get better at that. What do you want to say to yourself in a year? In a year, I don't know where I'll be. I'll probably be in New York City. Um, who knows though? But in a year, I want to say, Nate, where you're at right now, it's for a reason you're doing so much better than what you were whenever you were recording this video and just keep doing what you love. Keep freaking, you know, mess up more, just grow, keep growing, keep learning because that's the best way you're going to make it in this world and take risks, get out there and do things that make you uncomfortable, literally. Um, that's, that's what I would say. What kind of car do you have? I have a 2021 model three Tesla model three. It's, it's white at the moment. Um, but yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's all the questions. So I guess just to kind of add on as well, I'm going to look back at this first video. My kids are going to look at this video. My wife is going to look at this video. People that I am now connected with, to people that now know me are going to look at this video. And you're probably going to be like, wow, I relate with this guy. And you do. You do relate with me. So what makes you different? Figure that out. Because where I'm at now Meaning, and I'm talking, this is my future self talking, where I'm at now compared to where I'm at, at this present moment of me recording this video is different. But in order for it to, to be different, you have to challenge yourself, right? I've had to challenge myself. I've had to take risks. I've had to humiliate myself. I've had to get in uncomfortable situations. I've had to mess up. I've had to fail. I've had to get punched in the face, you name it. I've had to go through that in order to progress. So when you see my next video in this day in a year from now, and then my, my year three, year four, year five, whenever I'm in my thirties, right? Cause I'm, I'm 26, uh, not 26, I'm, I'm almost 26 in less than a month, but I'm 25 right now. So whenever you see these in, in, in this particular video in years to come, just know, you can do the same thing, but like I said, understand where I'm at right now. It's probably a lot of relatability and go out and capitalize. So 
until for this particular video series until next year. So it is January 8th, 2022. My next one will be January 8th. I mean, not January. My goodness, guys. It's so late. June. It is June 8th, 2022 right now. And then next year, June 8th, or I'll try to record it around the same time. It'll be 2023. So stay tuned. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I know this is long. I don't do any editing. It's always raw.